Here at a gritty industrial center in Eindhoven, the Netherlands, engineers from a Samsung research center say they've invented a new kind of color display. It could revolutionize e-readers, tablets, and cell phones. And if it's as good as they say it is, they just might be right. Electro wedding could replace LCD displays in notebooks and tablets, such as the iPad, with lower power use and equal quality. It could also replace e-paper displays in readers, such as the Kindle. For e-readers, it would have the advantages of color and video. An electro wedding display actually uses a voltage to move liquids around. Basically said what we're doing, actually by applying a voltage we have a black liquid which we basically shift aside as a curtain. So basically we open a black curtain, let the light go through, and if we want to make the pixel black, the curtain closes by taking the voltage off again. We split a pixel into an R a red, a green, a blue, and sometimes a white pixel. And in each of these we do this curtain. In each of these we, sh we move the black liquid. Every time I actually take one of our displays outside and put the sun on it, you think, wow, you know, this is so much better than what is out there at the moment. For instance, if you take a 9.7 inch iPad type of display, right? I mean, if you would swap an LCD for the electro wedding display, the factor of three uh, improvement in optical performance give you probably about two times longer battery life. What we have done is actually taken this technology and put it into, a, into an architecture, into a way which is resembling LCDs. Yeah, so we make use of, we've looked at, we know the LCD industry very well. We've looked at this and every time we had to make choices, we choose the ones which stay as close as possible to an LCD. Manufacturing wise, we use similar materials, we use the same driving ICs same optical foils, except for, of course, the polarizers. So we've tried to make it such that it fits into a current day LCD fab. So there's, there's one step which is different from the LCD process at the moment, and that's a step which we have clearly focused on, where we have a lot of knowledge and IP on as well, and where we're now actually capable of offering a solution to people to actually convert their LCD fabs into EWD fabs. So another way you can actually apply these, uh, these displays of ours because they're so efficient is what is called transparent displays. Transparent displays people are not that used to because they're not around so much because actually when you use current day technology for it, they're not so efficient. But if you have a technology like ours which is far more efficient, you can actually start looking for instance into using windows, shop windows uh, for actually providing information to people. So you walk up to a shop, you look into the shop, you see a product, but actually on the window itself you can already get information about the product. You see trends in the display industry of going flexible, of going thinner, larger, lightweight, and that's a perfect trend that we can actually fit into. I mean we can make flexible displays, we can make robust displays, large size. So you can have all kinds of things that you now see on Minority Report or Harry Potter and, you know, those become reality.